I just want to talk about why I believe that the E46 sedan or even in the coupe doesn't have to be the E46 M3 because we know that car is of course a collectible and the sought out the car but why do I believe that the, even the normal sedan E46 is going to be something that people want um, I'm going to go over that video as well just because my experience with this car and what I believe the capabilities of it is and that it just may be possibly not tapped at least not in Australia Alright, so I found a pretty empty lot and I just parked up so we can walk around the E46. So we'll start from the outside, the exterior, as to why I believe that this car is, I'd say to me, at least the ultimate daily, especially for a car enthusiast, is just that this car remains extremely stylish. Just the way that the body curves, the rear that it's got a shorter rear, actual boot, longer front end. So that design to me always stands out more. It's a very, very nice looking car, especially once you start putting on the M kit, the wheels, the suspension, and I've done mine completely blacked out. So yes, gray wheels, black car, black all around the actual door trims, black tint. And I think personally, just for something that's quite cheap, that probably costs the same as my T37s or my Skyline, this thing just looks looks really sick and the fact that these are still rear wheel drive you have an, enough space for any engine swap you can do rb26s two jz's one jz freaking anything you want um enough space so even if you want to keep the inline the inline six it has and turbocharge that engine um they make up to 400 horsepower without touching the internals on a on a uh, 330 ci so the three liter engine one of the good benefits as well is you can you can remain and keep say mine's a 320 so it's a 2.2 .2 liter but i could put the internals of a 3 liter in and build the 2 liter 2.2 .2 liter i have so the exact same car just bigger pistons and whatnot so that's that's a plan for me is to rip that engine out turbocharger put 3 liter internals in it possibly just grabbing a 3 liter whatever's cheaper and just sending this thing on the track but that's what makes this car, in my opinion, so desirable, is that people are now can't really afford the Sylvia's or Skylines and they don't want to drift them. So, or even chases nowadays are. 25, 30,000 for an automatic. So by the time you go through all those stages and building that car, you're looking 45 plus, and it's a bit ridiculous. So when you could grab something like this for, let's just say $8,000 Australian. Then you have the, the extensive aftermarket capabilities maybe not in australia just yet but over in germany and america i know that they are obsessed with these cars just because how i guess cheap they are and actually quite reliable for a bmw so there's there's csl reboots you can get for the sedan mine has the m3 lights again m3 not m3 sorry m sport rear bumper aftermarket wheels a little bit hard to find in australia for the five times 120s getting a little bit easier um, coilovers, BC coilovers are the way to go. I'm not running BCs at the moment, but I am converting. There's a lot of extensive front headlight conversions you can do from bumper bars, front lips, M3 mirrors, Ganador. You can um, do adapters for Ganadors too, bucket seats, and the actual body of this car. It's a 50 50 weight distribution from what my memory is. So what that means is you can build a pretty stable drift car. You can build a very good track car. And a lot of these cars were actually built off. Well, the 320i's in the manuals were actually race cars too. So they had the four door, um, which I'll put up a little photo of those, those track cars. So they had those two. So you know that the chassis is a good chassis to work off. So that's just my quick little thought on the, on the exterior while as well as I believe that the E46 is well an enthusiast daily it's something that you can also keep as a daily and you can just work on it because it's cheap and reliable in my opinion well you get this very cool basic dash um, you know it's not overly clustered you get good visibility um, there's a good center console so overall styling is it's very nice it's basic the steering wheel isn't too big you can opt for an aftermarket steering wheel as well so there's options in terms of that but i actually really like the seating position the seats overall design and the visibility is very good um, i really do like that and 
And of course, if you go for the sedan, why I choose the sedan over the two door for me is just that I have all this extra rear space, which I do use. So since it's my daily, I put tires in there, I put equipment in there, I put anything I want in here and it's enough space. Um, again, it's my daily as well as something that still is fun. That's why I say the E46 sedan to me is the car. I mean, when you're an enthusiast, you go through different cars. So I've driven new cars, BRZs and all that. Yes, they're fun. But when a car can feel this good for a quarter of the price, it really has you thinking like there's going to be a market for it between the enthusiasts, people that are going into cars as well, and just general people that are interested in motorsports or BMWs possibly in the future. So that's why I see that the E46 will, will grow or if anything, get more popular and hopefully more um, aftermarket support which there is heaps but like Silvio you know what I mean I believe there will be a lot more aftermarket um, support for the E46 coming in the future again that's pretty much it guys so it's a quick rundown of why I believe the E46 sedan or coupe um, will be the next car in the future for car enthusiasts that are going to jump in to just want something to track or build it's just something that's a nice platform because this car is honestly that's what it is it's a good platform to work off and once you style it the way you like it the actual chassis and the way that the car is built it just it works with you so um i'd like to see what you guys think um if you guys are 46 i would love to see your builds um and i'll yeah yeah hit that subscribe button because we are gonna continue building this car once the R34 is done and like I mentioned there is builds plans of a turbo which will be on that side so a turbocharged engine and I want to track this car I want to lean towards drifting or time attack but in all honestly this will probably be a drift car just because I need more seat time and get better at drifting that's it guys that's enough mumbling or rambling for me but that's just my thoughts on where the E46 is and just, again, owning the E46 for an extensive period of time, three, four years. It started off as literally just a daily car that I didn't really like. And I just, for some reason, I kept looking back at it. I was like, this car would be pretty cool if I built it. And then I started looking into it more and more and more and then started working into it, started putting bits on it. And now I'm like, <laughs> I'm addicted. Um, I really like E46s and... That's why I thought I want to share this with you guys. Uh, my experience of owning an E46 for an extensive period of time happened purely from the car. I didn't go out looking for an E46, but I, I had one by coincidence because I needed a daily. And then the, the love for it built from there. So I thought I could share this with you guys. If you're looking for an E46, grab yourself a very well-maintained one. That's what's important. Low kilometers if you can, maintained because that's what these cars need. They need maintenance um, more than anything. Because if they're not maintained, they're just going to break and break and break. But if they're maintained, they're reliable. But yeah, that's about it for today, guys. Um, like again, leave your experiences, leave your thoughts, leave your builds or your Instagrams just in the, in the comments so I can check them out too. And I'll see you in the next video. This was just something fun to make. Well, I don't know. It was just something fun to make. All right, see you guys in the next video. Peace.